Rodney, I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to know where you got that gun. Rodney, please. Kids the same age as you are dying because of these guns. I don't care. What'd you say? Every single one of them probably deserves it. You don't mean that, Rodney. Oh, yes I do. Rodney, I... You want to know why I have this gun? Ever since I was five, kids that look just like me have always treated me like I'm nothing. Garbage. A victim. They beat me. They rob me. They tell me I'm not black enough and I'm an embarrassment to my own race. I'm 13 now. I've been dealing with this for eight years. Last year, on a late night, I was headed home after picking up groceries for my mom. I didn't want to get in trouble for being late, so I walked down that sidewalk right there and turned into that alleyway. And three kids from my school followed me in, and once I turned around and realized somebody was following me, one of them held a gun to my head. They took my back, my shirt, my pants, and my shoes. And when I asked them why they picked me, you want to know what they said? White people are the easiest targets. And you know what? Just my luck. It started raining shortly after that. So I had to walk 40 minutes back to my house, drenched and half naked. I would have called my dad for a ride, but then I realized my phone was in the pocket of the pants that they took. You want to know something funny about that situation? That was actually one of the least cruel things anyone's ever done to me. I mean, at least this time they let me keep my underwear and socks. Fun fact, my best friend is white. His name is David. That same group of kids that took my clothes started beating him up for hanging out with me on a weekly basis. And you know what he did? He stuck right by my side and said, I'm not going anywhere. I don't care how much they hurt me. We've been best friends since we were both in diapers. But the beating he got the week after that was so bad that I told him that I can't have you around me because I don't want to be responsible for seeing you get beat up so bad that you die. And you know what? Before this point, I did the right thing, the thing that the adults told me to do. I told my teachers, they did nothing. I told the cops, they did nothing. I told my parents, and you want to know what they told me? Kids will be kids. Don't take it so personal. I was told that after one of my classmates beat me up so bad that I was unconscious in a parking lot for two hours. You know, I make straight A's. I don't do drugs or drink. I keep my pants above my waist. Fun for me is building mini robots, reading through Wikipedia, reading fantasy stories, studying for potential life on different universes or different planets. I even want to go to college. But because of people that look like me, good people don't see me as a young man with a bright future. They see me as a potential thug, hoodlum, gangbanger, or drug dealer. So I hate people that look like me with a passion. And I know it's not all of them. But the bad ones are a cancerous tumor that needs to be cut out, and it starts tonight. What are you going to do? Go to every bad neighborhood and execute every potential bad person? Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at sniffing out where the filth and trash live. Look, Rodney, I know you're angry, and you have every right to be. The things they did to you were unforgivable and beyond okay. And they don't get a pass just because they're teenagers. But I don't want you to throw away your life and amazing potential for some crappy kids who don't have the capacity to go anywhere near as far as you will. If the adults in your life won't tell you, then I will. You are one of the smartest kids that I have ever met. Give me the gun and tell me where you got it. And you have my word and promise that I will do my best to make things right for you. His name is Kalas Invade. I bought it off one of his distributors. Oh, what was the name of those three kids that took your clothes? Daquan Marquez, Monte Jones, and Tevin Drakes? Where are you going? To make things right. I'll check up on you in a week. <laughs>